Let's dig a little deeper, though, into sepsis and the danger it poses. I asked our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandi, what we need to know. But Dr. Nandi, can you explain how a fever turns septic? Yes, you have, you have a fever. Typically, it's a reaction, right, Mike, to something like an infection. And you get an infection, like a bacteria, a virus, and then sepsis is when your, your body's immune system kind of goes haywire. It's an extreme response uh, to an infection. And then and that then from a fever, it, you go into from a fever and infection, you go into sepsis and that increase or extreme response to an infection causes inflammation. That inflammation then can can really go haywire, go through all, all throughout your body, can give you what's called septic shock, meaning that your blood pressure goes down. You can have a rapid heart rhythm, uh, rapid heart rate, rather difficulty breathing. You can even get confused. Dr. Nandy says that's why it's important to be proactive in treating a fever. He says everyone is at risk of sepsis, but it's higher for the very young, the very old, and those with any underlying health conditions. Carolyn? Wow, certainly good to know, right? Yep.